Now, December 1st, second day of December, I can't believe it. Hey, we just be here for a great move back to a new Pizza Thursday stream, and today we're back with a new Crest Pizza Thursday, Crest Pop Pizza Thursday, the video said last stream, go and check it out. So we are continuing the inverted. Storing away, oh yeah, and this week, or this, here's the comment of the day as well, which I absolutely love too. This, I absolutely loved. So that is the comment of the day. Which, again, I just like, I just loved. Look, it's the cross. Team Racing, or the Team Bandicoot car, and the uh, Nitro, or the, you know, the Team, or just the Cross Team Racing car, and here's the trophies, which I love how they throw down the, um, you know, Cross Nitro Field, and Cross Nitro Car, and this, I guess it's incredible, how's everybody? Enjoyed their Thanksgiving. Have some real good food, haven't y'all? Maybe most certainly. Most certainly. Very delicious. Oh, Thanksgiving. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. I swear I left my cart parked right there. <laughs> I swear I left my cart parked right there. I think we're almost to 100% actually. So that, not that far to that 106% complacent. Which, the last time I did Crest 4 was when I completed Crest 4 on the 6th save file on my Switch. <laughs> like, that was the last time. It's been a while. It has been a while. Well, I had no choice there. <laughs> I like the stream startup. They gain it. Point, point, dun, 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 dun. One, two, three, four, five. I know, that is risky. Tell me about it. It's risky. It is a risky thing, but I managed to conquer it. Months of the 18th as well. Can't believe it. Next week. Sorry to believe, ain't it? I got a special edition planned for that, for that special occasion.
Now, if y'all don't know, the hidden gem is there because I know it is kind of tricky to find the hidden gem. Here it is. Wait! I'm gonna go seatbelts and fix my ship! I know, I nailed the performance there. I nailed the performance! Oh, what happened there? <laughs> Again, at least I don't have to worry about the perfect relic. Because we've gotten all the perfect relics now. I Somehow I didn't spin. Or, well, I spun, but... I think I spun the enemy, but I just didn't hit him. There we go. Cross landed. I gotta look at my wallpaper right here. At least that was my old wallpaper. That was my old wallpaper, at least. Not my new one. That was just from an old picture. I haven't showed y'all the new one yet. Cross landed. What a brilliant name. I've recently seen that there is a new tutorial level. And, if y'all did not know too, right here, recently, on the store, on the cross bass, or, on the cross on the run, it says, get ready for, for a cross bass update. As well. Like, it says, literally says, get ready for a cross bass update. And people have been, and if you didn't see Canadian Guy A's new video as well, that he made, or not too long ago made as well, still not so long ago, um, made about how Christ Wumpa League, Wumpa League may have been revamped and reworked to be a spinoff of Christ Bash, just because of all the hints. All the hints and stuff have been leading towards Crash Bash, which, hey, I'm all down for, actually. I mean, a new style of Crash Bash, like a spinoff, a new spinoff like Crash Bash, yeah, I'm all down for, because Crash Bash was definitely one of my favorites, one of the favorite party Crash games I, I love playing. So, yeah, I'm all, I would all be down for that. And people have been requesting something of Cross Bash. So. And I've seen some people saying that they hope that some of the levels from the actual Cross Bash make it in. Like, remade just as little funny level um, Easter eggs. Which, hey, it could. Right? It could, too. It could definitely do that. And the studio, as well. The idea for the studio, or at least probably one of the... That it sews on the PC port of Cross 4, which is quite interesting, as well. Dang it, Mr. Crate. That has to be a long journey down there. But hey, again, we got the perfect relic, so it doesn't matter. But well, we still gotta try not to do the die across past three because you know the the three mark gem, the three dust gem, the three max gem that we need to get too in the inverted. So gotta try to be careful with that gem too. But everything else is fine. If we got the perfect relic, so we have nothing to worry about. 
We got the perfect relics. We're all good. Now the hidden gem is actually in the blue gem path, which makes sense, right? It would actually make sense if you think about it. Like any other gem would be in the colored gem paths. Because it's right over here. It's right there. <laughs> No worry, I was coming back over here, for sure. I was coming back over there. Using the triple spin, which I am starting to love. I'm starting to love the triple spin. I'm starting to love the triple spin a lot more. To be honest, I'm definitely starting to love the idea and the concept of the triple spin. It's starting, it's starting to get there for me. You know, at first I didn't like it. First, I didn't like it, but I'm starting to like it a lot more now. The more you mess around with it, and the more you do it with the triple spin, it becomes a lot more likable. And again, at first, I just didn't like it, but I'm starting to like it more than the speed suits. I don't know why, I just starting to like it more than the speed suits. I mean, the speed suits are still very useful, but, you know. my fault. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I don't know what was going on there, but I'm happy with the dad. <laughs> Double jump. That's my fault. A goopy ball. I was really worried it was going to get me there. There we go. Say so the other t that other time I didn't make it because I didn't double jump. But there I made it. Again, I've always say this, or I always say this, but I just love the inverted levels. 
getting to go to the level, getting to revisit the levels and go into a new feel. Right, and then a new look. Something that I know that I definitely wanted to see in Crash for a long time, and Toys for Bob have made that possible. Oh, I don't know how I made that. I probably should have not, but I made it. Alright, here we go. Yeah, it's fine. I had Aku. I had Aku anyway, so it's fine. No big voice or anything. Dead gummit. You see, that's why it's good that we have stuff like this. And the inverted. Okay, I've really got to be careful now. Again, we've reached the three mark. We've reached the three deaths mark, so i got to be extremely careful now. there. It's just over there. Really? <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to come back. It's fine. We're gonna have to do this level again. Just to get the dust gem. If I wouldn't have not missed that box, I could have done it first try. If I could, if I could, wouldn't have missed it, I could have gotten it. Or, it would have gotten it first try, but nope. <laughs> nope. Sadly not. Sadly, I had to miss it. But it's fine. Again, this time we could just speed through the level. Okay, now it just hit me that I have to use the restroom. <laughs> I'll, wait with, I'll wait until it loads and then I'll try to be quick. Okay, I'll be right back.
What do I be? You know, let me turn off my headphones. Alright, I forgot I had those on. Oh wait, what am I? Why am I getting the crates if I just said I, this time I could just spade through the level because I gotten all the crates, right? I gotten all the crates. We need the dust jump so we could just breeze on through. We just got the crates jump, so again we could just speed on through. Of course, the checkpoints we're still gonna need. I could just feel. I mean, I have done a level before of not getting none of the... Or, yeah, no checkpoints. And not, of course, dying either. But, well, that was in Crest, too. But still, it still counts. Okay, you can't speed along here. That's good to know. Hey, that's alright. I guess it's just like us doing a relic, right? I guess this is like doing a relic, but... I guess not getting any of the time crates. Because <laughs> I know not long until we start doing the relics, which still be the last things that we need to collect. Which they're not too hard. The relics don't aren't too hard at the at times. And most of them are annoying, but And again, just getting platinum. Which ain't too bad of a big of a deal. Again, Baynox did a great job with the inverted. Baynox did an amazing job with the inverted levels. Of course, my personal favorite is the um, Cortex Island ones. Of how, you know, what, whatever you call those old kind of video game console looking ones. I just love that one. I don't know why I just jumped over that. That's my fault. <laughs> Again, I don't know why I jumped over it. I was getting a little carried away there. I was getting a little bit carried away. Getting a little carried away. See what happens when you get a little carried away. Dang. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I gotta be so careful. I'm gonna have to do it a third time. Oh, there's something on my arm. Okay. There's something on my arm. And that was a bad time, too. Be careful with those weird, vicious creatures over here. They still know me. There you go. Done it. There you go. Cork or in trophy. In female in trophy. There'll be another dimensions. 
inverted's done. How much percent do we have? 90. Say we're getting there. We're getting to the 100 percent. We are getting there. And now we're collecting Wumpa Fruit instead of Bumpa Berry since we're in, you know, inverted mode. We're inverted, we're in the inverted mode, so it makes sense that we collect Wumpa Fruit this time. There you go. Oh, I just left the Konoha behind. Mm, yes. so, so elegant, spiders. I left the Konoha behind. She was still not with me. That's how fast I was going when I got a Konoha. That's literally how fast I was going. I was going so fast that they couldn't even catch up to me. I'm so sorry, Colonel Law. The same with Ika. I go so fast, when you go so fast, the quantum mass can even, can't even catch up. Okay, that's just them, as well. That's just them. And female in trophy. Who you call him pathetic? <laughs> Got him. Come on, female in trophy. Got him. They're dead. Snacks dimension. Personally, not one of my favorite um inverted dimensions. One of my personal not favorite and dimensions with the inverted levels. Mm 
just because of the whole water thing. Well, it's cool, but it's just uh, how slow it kind of feels to move. Right, you're moving. Okay. It's like you're literally in the water. I mean, again, I love the theme of it. It's just, it really feels like you're moving in the water. You know, how slow it can kind of feel. I know one of the little, um, confetti things is a crystallized dragon. You know, some of the confetti that falls, it's like, um, or it's one of them's a crystallized dragon. This part feels one of the fastest, too, I can just tell you, because look. Nope, don't miss checkpoint. Like, you can even see the surface, too. That's how it really feels like um, it's underwater. And I even wonder how Crash can even breathe without the, um, without his scuba gear. Without the... Oh! Oh, no! Dang. <laughs> I thought I could have made it. I really thought I could have made it there. But also the good thing is the enemies kind of um, go slow too. So it's not so bad. Oh, don't blow up. Thank you. Again, I love the theme of the Snacks Dimension, um, inverted levels. It's just, it kind of feels so slow when you're actually going, or actually playing it. And the levels, inverted levels itself. But I love how it's based in water, like you're in water. Oh, could I make it? But I did. I don't know why it's to spawn that TNT. Oh, here we go. My favorite right here. I don't need the cars on up above. I could just do it the old-fashioned way like this. There we go. There you go.
Oh yeah, and a hidden gem too. Oh. Oh, the hidden gem. There it is. Okay, sometimes I can do it without dying like that, but most of the other times, oh boy, I can't. <gasps> oh, I don't know why I pressed this face shift back. There we go. All right, Tana and Dingo dial. Tana and Dingo. Let's see, how many percent? 92. I'm pretty sure once we get all the skin, or almost all the skins, I know once we get all the inverted gems, we'll have 100%. The only thing that stands between 100% and the 38 platinum relics that we need to get will go up to 106 and the cross 5 teaser. Hidden gem in this level, I totally forgot it. I do not like the hidden gem in this level. And the inverted. Oh, I do not like it. I always manage to at least die once trying to do it. Because it's sacrificing a life as well. Or sacrificing a. Or, you know. Because. It's right there. <laughs> Close to the death point. You have to quickly act fast doing that. That's really the only thing with the hidden gem in this level. One of y'all uh, recently, or I know, agrees with me about with Tana. So I'm very happy I'm not the only one. Again, that's why I had an Aku, because I need someone like that for me. Four hundred forty one crates in this level. In you know. my could I open a restaurant? In an airport? See, something was on my glasses. There we go. Oh, good. It, 
and the only, also the only thing I definitely love about the water parts of the water levels as well on here in this dimension is the final section of the Crite Escape. It makes it so much easier as well, um, because, you know, when you're going after, when all the stuff is falling out of Cortex's airship, you know how it would go fast, very fast in the normal level, but in, in the inverted, it goes slow, and you have more time to act fast, too, and when it comes to the crites. That's definitely one of the things I love about the water fail of this dimension. And again, this is just me walking normally on here. It's just me going normally and how slow it is. You can just see how it is in this inverted mode in the snack dimension. Okay, Aqua, good. I was needing of an Aku. I thought it would could have hit in that for me. My future franchise. <laughs> I just love that. <laughs> now watch Wonder this. What the local is here. Look at that. I hope it's spicy and fried. Ooh, slow motion thing right there. Oh, that that enemy blew up the nitro for me. So that's perfect. That is perfect. Now the end bit ain't so, or well, in the inverted, it ain't so bad. But in, and also in general, it's, you know, the end section on here in this level with all the cars, like that gun. Sometimes it feels like you have to act fast when it comes to getting these crates, because it always feels like you're going to miss it if you don't jump and grab them quickly. Normally I can beat this level without taking no... or a dustless run I could normally do too. And so far that's looking likely if I just keep it up. Oh no. Again, this is 
This is where things could go downhill. But again, we don't have to worry about the perfect relic. So we're good. Because we already gotten all of them already. So, again, we're good with that. Alright, that's all the Wumpa Gems. Not saying Wumpa Gem like the user Wumpa Gem. <laughs> Not that kind of Wumpa Gem. But you know, the gems that you get when you collect the Wumpas. Or, in this case, I guess the Inverted Gems, I guess I should say, because since we're in the Inverted Mode, it's pretty much the Inverted Gems. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're coming to the section. Oh, yeah. Normally that part I always mess up at. We're coming to the end section and it's always the hard section too. And also we got... Wait, I don't... I'm not sure if Aku would be able to protect me right here. I'm not too sure. But, oh well. We got a checkpoint too, and we just gotta try not to die over the three death mark. Three death mark, so... Good luck with that. <laughs> I think I had to get that checkpoint. So far, we're doing okay. Okay, we did it. <laughs> We've done it. The crate escape. Then we make it to my favorite inverted. Besides, of course, the coloring book world feels like in the prehistoric one. And, uh, of course, the coloring, the paint one in the pirates, the men, in the salty wharf. Alright, here you go. Uka Uka. I mean, this is inverted mode, but it's, it says Uka Uka. Question mark. But yes, he is back. But we'll see him again in Cross 5. Too, in the next main installment, whatever he's going to do to Cortex, as well. Okay, I'm so happy I didn't break those crates, because that would have ruined that, me getting the hidden gem, because it's over here. And of course I had to, probably going to have to just sacrifice a life. I mean, I could restart it too, but level two, but as long as we, you know, as long as that's the only time we would need that, or if we keep missing it, then yeah, we're certainly going to have to restart the level, but hopefully here, we don't have to. 
hopefully that's not, yeah, that's not too. But this hidden gem is definitely very tricky. There we go. Got it. It can be tricky to get, that y'all can see. we can make it past this part too. Hmm, you see how tricky that is? And risky? Here's the car section. Don't really have to hit that, but I always do anyway. Because again, that's not where the hidden gem is, where that bouncy crate by hitting that is in this level, in the inverted. So, we're good with that. this part. Oof. That was another part I was kind of worried of, too. I was a bit worried about, too. I was indeed worried about that bit as well. Wait, I still... <laughs> still helped. Oh, it's this bet. Okay, it's this bet. We're getting to the section. We're getting to the section. Just hope that we don't miss the crates now, because we've made it to the section. See how not fast they're going? I mean, they still are kind of going a little fast, but not as fast in the, in the normal level. I don't know how to get blown up right there. I'm very happy with that. Okay. Hopefully that's gonna be all the crates. It is. And look at that. Again, we only had to die one. It's on this level. And that's just by missing the inverted gem. I'm gonna invert the hidden gem.
Alright, Cortex Island. And again, my personal favorite, Inver my all time favorite, Inverted. <laughs> Here we go. And I love the Cortex Castle theme in the inverted. I really love it. Cortex Castle. And I guess same double as well because it's the same. But again, I love it. Definitely my all time favorite inverted music. Here we go. See? See, this is my favorite. And of course, you get that on the, you know, underneath the Wampa, or the inverted area. You have the classic score points dying right there. That, and whenever you break crates or hit to kill the enemies, you get the points. Like 100, 100 for the crates, and then. 150 points we got by killing that enemy. Again, how can you not love this? It's my favorite. 150. Got 150 points. Gonna make sure I don't miss that. I'm not sure how many that gave me. To be honest, I didn't really look. 50, 150. Again, the crates give you 100, or 100, and the enemies give you 150 points. I love it. Yeah, even though the, the hidden gem ain't there, I still had to do that part. But yeah, the, the hidden gem is just right over here. Hang on. There we go. Got it. It was hiding, it was tucked in a corner. It was just tucked in the corner. Not too bad. I'd like to get this auto. There we go. Gonna get a lot of points here. Look at all these points that we're getting. We got so many points there. And right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. <laughs> I just love it. My favorite inverted in Cross 4. All time favorite. Whenever I get to this point, whenever I play Cross 4, Whenever I play Cross 4, I'm always, and whenever I do the inverted as well, I'm, I always look forward to this, to Cortex Island. They definitely made the, the best, uh, the last island for be the best. Especially when it comes down to the inverted. No. When it comes down to the inverted, most certainly. Please listen to me. Oh, rude. Ooh, rude. <laughs> uh, I'm a stubborn moron who's going to destroy his own future. <laughs> I love that. I'm a stubborn moron. Hey, wait a minute. 
he was like, oh, like he was just copying him until he realized, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> There we go. whatsoever on it. How about that? Uh, toxic tunnels. Now that one. Oh no. Sometimes I don't have to come back to it, but the other times... Oh no! That's what I'm like, because most of the time I just forget the three deaths gem until after. Like, I would have to replay the level just to get the three death gem, the three max gem, and just don't worry about it at first, but who knows, if we go over, or if we can manage to do it without having to worry about that, that'd be great. I mean, it's easier too. It is kind of easier, but, hey. It's also great to be able to do it first try, or get it all in one, you know, and not having to restart the level. Different. Again, I still love how Koala Kong is technically in this game. Right? How Koala Kong is technically in this game, but as a cameo on the minecarts. <laughs> He's just on the minecarts. His face. His new. A new icon of Koala Kong. It's not the first Cross Games icon of Koala Kong. It's a new icon that. It, it is a new icon. It was sad, too, that it was a new icon of Qualicon. And maybe we could see him in Cross 5? That would be great. Right? Just imagine Cross 5 and we see Qualicon as either a boss or a hero. Because, you know, Dingadile is now a good guy, so who knows if any other Cortex's henchmen are going to be... This part is always risky, but I al that always makes it easier for me. That always makes it easier for me. Crawling until you think you're at a point where you, you you're good to unduck. I know it's risky, but it's always an easier task. I found it easier to do. I always find that easier. Not sure if anybody else does it, but it's just way easier and way offensive. Or efficient. It's way efficient. Much better and way efficient too. 
because you know it's a big risk if you do it normally you know do that slide if you do that big slide it's risky but there you don't have to do no slide well at the end when you think when you uncrouch obviously but besides that if we can get past the uh, if we can get past this this gauntlet of what it's called as well this gauntlet then yeah we're pretty much home free with the rest of the level because the rest of the level ain't so bad but again if we could just get past this gauntlet of a maze right here if we could just get past this part then that'll be great Which we are almost there too. <laughs> rapping sounds it sound like. Or it does sound like it's there's rapping tones. Now, there's always a risk right here, too. You know, getting that and then hoping you do that and not get electrocuted, right? Hoping that you don't get electrocuted is very risky. <laughs> but it's so good. Look at that. The gauntlet made me untouched. The gauntlet just untouched me. Now I just can't fail the easy task. Once again, it's so simple. It's impossible to fail. You could actually catch up. See, I caught up to that minecart. <laughs> Even though there's no hidden gem, you still need to do it for the crates. Obviously. Now we just, again, do the level like normal. Alright, bonus. Bonus stage. Oh, that was my fault. <laughs> that was my fault. But hey, it was in the bonus stage. Bonus stages don't count in your deaths. So, lucky. Yeah, I accidentally slid too far. Or too much. I meant to do that, but again, I kind of went 
too far. I didn't slide. I said a slide and jumped. <laughs> Look at how many points we got, too. Or the score of the points. it up. There you go. Right. Look at all those points. Got so many points. have to go over here. Okay, hey, that's super easy. The hidden gem is just right over this way. It's out there, but again, we got simpler tasks to do to get that gem. <laughs> Got it. Whatever Passportex called himself, his future self, um, was him, right? He called himself that. <laughs> but how was he supposed to know that? Right, how is he supposed to know that? How is he supposed to exactly know that? Look at this, we actually managed to beat this level of what it looks to be with no deaths, which is great. And look at what I, when we're loading into a level, if I had to redo this level, but nope. We managed to conquer it in one go. Conquer it in one go, just like that. And did the gauntlet too, and did not die once. Cortex Castle. And my favorite inverted soundtrack in the game. And I guess sing double, but again, that's the same. It's the same music, because it's the same track of Cortex Castle. It's just Cortex's version of Cortex Castle. I see. 96. 96%.
few more inverted gems and are the, the last two inverted levels gems and uh, scans again the scans also count as to progressing which apparently the last scan which is in the past unmasked inverted um again I always get before or I don't before I go and get that one I always get a hundred percent so oh here we go <laughs> I love the music. Love it. Freaking love it. Of course, always do Cortex Castle without dying once, but in the averted, especially with mostly just getting the hidden gem, it kind of is risky too. Just like that. <laughs> That's how it's done. There's that hidden gem. And again, I can get the developer relic in this level first try. Most of the time. Because it's not that hard to get the developer relic. The Toys for Bob relic. There, that was shut me up.
no deaths. Perfect relic. <laughs> Who can beat this level with no dying not once? I just proved that it's so possible. I can just tell you. I just proved to you. I've proved to y'all. Wait, hang on. Oh, I forgot something. <laughs> I forgot sipping error. Oh, I told I for, I thought I didn't get I thought I got sipping error done. <laughs> but no, I didn't. Uh. <laughs> Why did I forget that I have to do sipping air? Uh, I thought we were home free with that. But no, we're not. Somehow I just ignored that one. I wish I could have, but no, we gotta do it. Oh. Oh. I do not like this level. You have to find that ship. I thought we were free again. I only had to replace my blaster's teleport with that hair drive I thought I got the inverted done on this level, but sadly not. Again, I'd be so lucky if we get this right away. Luckily, he couldn't fire. Okay, Cortex's section is completely done. Surprisingly. I still can't believe I just forgot sipping her. Now that I remembered, I remembered the last one with Crash Boys Edition. I just did out for launch and 
we that's where we ended it there and didn't do sipping our dang. Now I remember. what I was doing there. Completely missed the platform. Ah, oh, stuff keeps getting reversed. Hold on. Don't know why. And again, I don't even touch a needle. Okay. Did that. Here's the inverted gym. Oh, come on. Got to be at. There we go. Okay. I was worried that we weren't going to get all the. No, we did it. <laughs> and we had no problems either. Very happy. Crisis skins unlocked. There's two more cocoa skins. And what percent? 98. Alright, now we can go back to Cortex Island. And do the same double with the final inverted gems that we need. Yeah. 
Even though the inverted gem, or the hidden gem ain't in there, we still gotta go in there. Kind of odd trying to raisin with yourself, right? Trying to raisin with yourself. It would kind of seem odd to do. Wouldn't that? That was my fault. I did it completely late. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I was. I thought I did it, but I, apparently I didn't. So that was my fault. Again, I could do this with um with no death either, but that was just my fault. Not activating a Kona wall like I was supposed to. Or at least doing it light when I accidentally was touching the TNT. But that was my fault. There we go. <laughs> now I'm pretty sure we may or may not have 100%. Let's see. Let's see. We have. Yep. 100%. Yeah. 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 Or 101%, but still. Because we got the, the extra percent for the skin that we got. Wait. There's the Spyro 4 down there. If you look closely, you can see the sparrow and underneath the number four. Hey, 
Tenjin abandoned his heavy metal lifestyle for one of smooth jazz. His album My Heart is a Doomsday Device is currently number one in elevators all over the world. He'll be playing in the hotel bar from 3 to 3 30. Embryo was caught and caged after being mistaken for a flying squirrel. He is on display in the Art of Taxidermy at Ripper Root's Curious Cabinet of Curiosities. To fuel his need for speed, Oxide became hooked on caffeine. He was hired as the spokesperson for a leading brand of energy drink. He is currently in rehab and in the throes of a messy divorce. Poor guy. Bad for Without outside. their master, Cortex's lab assistants found themselves in need of a new gig. They renovated his blimp, turning it into a successful pop-up shop, specializing in healing crystals. Dingo Dial franchised his restaurant operation, with Dingo's Diner rising to become the first name in chain fast casual. He can say people did not like eating at his diner. With official citing record health code violations. The original location remains open. Like why would you also? After successful expeditions to El Dorado, Shangri La, Tana playing reignited down there. Look at it closely. Say the spiral reignited box. From her okay. adventures to recenter. She's recently taken up scrapbooking. She's not very good yet, but she's getting there. After There's cat bat. And failing to invent the world's first and Nina and chicken stove. Car, Coco found a new and as a the champion. Don't forget to follow kick ass Coco and <laughs> smash that adore button. The best line that Chris says. The dimensions have heard nothing more. The doctor's trophy since Crash foiled their What plans. would lead up to Cross Bob as well? Geniuses are harder to squash than cockroaches. A reference to Cross One. And, and as for me. Well, let's just say he's doing I'm just doing fine. Just fine. Go, Cross. He nailed it. Cross nailed it. He nailed that speech. The pass on mask. Cross nailed that speech with a smooth jazz, a smooth voice. <laughs> Go, Cross. He nailed it, didn't he? He just nailed the performance. Did you jump on the pseudo-magic? Caesar! That was, that in trophy one was one of the things leading up to Crash 5, but the 106% is the real taser. Is the snake peak taser of Crash 5. Which, which again, once we get all the relics. We get the Cross 5 teaser. Snake Peak. The Snake Peak trailer. Of Cross 5. Of how it's gonna... A Snake Peak of how it will look. And be about... Again, this is the best boss in the whole franchise and in the trilogy as well. Yes, your whole world is upside down. Confused, disoriented. I can see your tiny brain cells frying themselves. <laughs> Keep 
Alright, Econo. I spun too light there. I accidentally ran into the lab assistant when I was meaning to jump. Oh, I don't know how I didn't get hit there. There we go. Alright, that's the inverteds taken care of. Completed all the inverteds and got all the skins. So next time we will also we will be getting the relics. Wits again. That is the things that we need left is the Platinum Relics for that 106% completion. So hopefully I enjoyed this week's edition. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, make sure you follow notifications turned on so you don't miss anything new on my channel. And again, let me know in the comments section down below tell me what y'all think about this stream. And next time is going to be something very special for the very special day next week as well. So hopefully I enjoyed, and I'll see you next video. Bye!